Hello, we have made it to London. Finally got my room. Um, I got in around 6.30 in the morning and then probably finished up at the airport by like 7.30. There was some traffic coming in. I got to the hotel around 8.30ish and then had breakfast. I needed to get ready, but my room wasn't ready yet. I literally had to get ready in like the tiny bathroom with like no light. And as soon as I was finished and I was bringing them back my luggage to put into storage as I was heading out, the room was ready. That would happen. At least I confirmed that everything looks good and the outfit is cute. Kind of a nice day in London. I thought it was gonna rain, but I guess the rain is going to be uh, later tonight. I'm so excited to vlog this trip, even though I really wish Marco could have made it, but it's okay. We're gonna have a good time. We're seeing lots of friends in this vlog. So hopefully you guys all enjoy. Before I forget, let's do a quick little room tour because this room will probably be messy by the time I come back and I'm running in and out of this place. Here's my door. Then I have a closet and coffee section over here. Super bright in the morning, which I love. TV and my bed. Then my roommate and the bathroom. So we have a toilet, sink, and a shower. And I cannot wait to shower later. Also, vlog is going to be filmed on the Sony ZV-1 II. So this is like the updated version of my old tiny little vlog camera and iPhone. Okay, for real, let's hit the carrots. since I left this morning. I'm filming in the bathroom because it's the only place that I can get somewhat decent lighting. Once we go into the room, it becomes so yellow. Like everything is just yellow. So I pretty much did a bit of wandering this morning before Herod's and then just had the afternoon with my manager and then I had dinner with a friend who used to live in New York but now lives in London so we got to catch up a little bit. I have been up and at it since I basically left Jersey so I am very much so ready to go to bed. One of Britain's much loved books and family favorites, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, tells the tale of a boy who won a golden ticket. So basically they gave me this chocolate bar and inside, I do have a golden ticket. 
take this to the lobby. Do they put this in everyone's chocolate? You know, I feel like that is too much of a coincidence. I slept for 12 hours. That was so good. Ugh. Okay, I'm so glad that my hair kind of flattened out because when I got it done at Harrods yesterday, it was looking very curly. But I trusted the process that the ends would all straighten out while I slept for 12 hours. Um, and now we just have volume and some flips. I realized yesterday that I forgot toothpaste and I got this one from the Harrods Pharmacy. That's how huge that department store is. They have their own pharmacy. I not plan on shopping much on this trip really because I'm actually heading to Paris in a few weeks. I also don't intend on shopping much then either because of the Mini Kelly that randomly happened. I thought getting a Mini Kelly was just not gonna happen at all and it's fine because I let it go but it was like as soon as I stopped thinking about it, that's what happened. Going to get ready, meeting Jess at Selfridges today and then we're gonna be bopping around that area. And I quickly get ready and I'll see you guys when I have my outfit on. Really happy with how my hair turned out. This is what I wanted when I walked out, but my hair is weird and it needs to kind of settle into the curls. Today's outfit, you can't see the bottoms. Um, wearing the rag and bone jeans that are so comfortable. I'm gonna wear this t-shirt from Cuts and my Kate cardigan. And then I think I'm gonna wear the Jody today. Was looking for coffee. Somehow managed to get crib.
no idea how rare sunny days are in London, but I'm trying to make the most of today. So we're just walking and walking. Because every single day it says rain for the forecast, and then it doesn't actually rain. But you never know, so I'm just trying to make the most of this beautiful day. Hello, it is six o'clock, been out and about all day. First, I got a crepe and then I went to sell fridges. After that, Jess and I got sushi at this restaurant that we just stumbled upon because you we were really craving Asian food. And then after that, she went back to her hotel to get some work done and I continued to wander and explore. Decided to go check out Big Ben while it was a nice and sunny day. And then I went to this coffee house called Watch House which is so pretty, but I should have gone earlier in the day. And then they're actually putting up the skating rink, so there was a lot of construction going on. I am just going to rest in the room for a little bit, get some work done um, while I have some Wi-Fi, and then going to Knack for dinner tonight, which I'm so excited about because I've been wanting to go to that restaurant since my last trip here. I hear really good things, and they have... They supposedly have this amazing cookie dessert. So yeah, very excited that we were able to find a reservation for tonight. So just gonna get to work. to walk to a lot of the places that I wanted to do within the first two days of my trip. But today we are transferring hotels. I think I'm just going to uh, check out a couple more spots around this area and then I'm going to come back to the hotel to check out and then switch to my next property. Kate's sweater that I got on sale last year. My Me and M pants. And I'm just wearing like an Aritzia tank top underneath. I think it's chilly this morning, so we're gonna throw on a coat. Yesterday was so warm, so I feel like I've been really getting spoiled by the weather over here, because I know it's not normal. But last night, went to Knack for dinner. Food was really good, but the dessert, oh my God, so good. I went with Jess and Nat. We decided on it while we were out around Bond Street, and someone actually DM'd me that there's this cookie shop that apparently makes the cookie for that dessert. Not really feeling it right now, but it is something to keep in mind. So I will probably have to check it out at some point during this trip. I think I'm gonna go to Arabica for coffee and then I want to pass by Selfridges again because there's this bracelet that I saw that I feel like could be a good extender for the Mini Kelly because the Mini Kelly strap is so short and I just wanna be able to cross body it more. I just 
that's when I discovered the Q2 and then that's when I wanted to buy it for myself for my birthday I really wanted a good photography camera and then this year they came out with a Q3 which has been super hard to get a hold of I've been on the wait list for months and you just can't find it anywhere I walked into like a today their store here in London and I walk in and I ask to see the Q3 and he's like oh yeah we don't have any available just so you know but uh feel free to take a look at it the guy tells me that it's on a waitlist basis and I was like oh yeah no worries and he's like actually I'm just gonna run to the back really quick hold on a moment so he goes to the back he's gone for a little bit he comes back out with a box the Q3 box so he's like it's yours if you want it I was like, what do you mean how is this possible so basically they have a waitlist and they had an allocation for someone who ended up I guess just passing like the same time that I was there I knew I was visiting and he was just like, it's yours if you want it. This has been impossible to get a hold of anywhere in the States. Like I can't find it anywhere. And you know, for a while I was content. It's like, you know what? I love my Q2, it's fine. But you know, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. There are major key differences between this and the Q2. The Q2 came out back in like 2017 or 2018. So she's a bit older. The Q3, so much better in color. I did a side-by-side -side comparison and I have my Q2 with me, but I'm basically gonna prep that to sell. So in case anyone's interested in a Q2, let me know. I knew I wasn't gonna shop for like any bags or shoes on this trip, but this camera being available, I took it as a sign. I swear I must've done something in my past life, like saved a queen or something. do a room tour and I cannot wait to unpack. I really wish Marco and Wade were here with me. They'd love it here. Okay, let's get to the tour. So they did upgrade me. This is an executive suite. This is all mirrors to the left, closet on both sides. So I just hung up my coat. I have one of my suitcases over here and then there's this beautiful tub. Definitely going to soak. Two vanities, his and hers, but it's just for me. Toilet over here. And then on this side, we have the shower. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Then we make our way to the main room. There's a little coffee station over here. A little seating area. And then this beautiful bed. I literally love Four Seasons beds, so I cannot wait to dive into this.
Okay, did a quick outfit change. Swapped into this Ralph Lauren sweater because I realized I did not wear it yet. I feel like it goes better with the trench. So here's the fit today. Off to Harrods we go. Wearing my Kate cardigan with just like a bralette underneath. Got the little mini Kelly, my rag and bone jeans, and my trusty old Manu Atelier boots. When you literally show up in this thing. <laughs> last night in London. I leave tomorrow, so I definitely need to pack. Just finished dinner with Nori and love catching up with her. The last time I saw her was in Paris earlier this year. Uh, we were just there at the same time. So I'm going to just pack up now and get everything ready so that 
I have time to like do some stuff tomorrow before my flight. We had such good food. Uh, we ate here at Meume in the hotel and food was delicious. Thank you so much to the Four Seasons for hosting me for this last leg of my trip. And I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. All right, guys, it has arrived. Got my creme cookies, milk chocolate, salted caramel and milk chocolate, and white chocolate with miso. And these are supposed to be the same makers of the knack cookies. If you want to save your cookies for another time, you can wrap them and freeze on the day you receive them. <gasps> wow. <gasps> I don't know if you can see that. I'm oh my God. These might be my favorite cookies now. Okay, I'm so glad I got these. What the heck? So if you're in London, please get these. Please get these. It's amazing. So good. I haven't even tried the other ones, but I'll probably nibble at them on my flight. Ready to say bye to London, but very much so ready to go see Marco and Wade. So farewell to this beautiful room and this comfy bed. See you guys at the airport. I wonder if I have time to do one last stroll. so much for following along with the vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.